So wetting your knickers when you cough, run, laugh, sneeze, jump, might be one of those things that you consider just part of part of life, part of course after having a baby. But I'm here to assure you that that is not actually the case. And while those symptoms of pelvic floor dysfunction are really common, they're actually not normal. And there are allied health professionals who can help you out with this. So allied health professionals are the people you would see for treatment alongside your GP. So your GP is usually your first port of call for any health concerns. And then there are a whole raft of allied health professionals who can help us out in specialized areas. And today I want to have a chat to you about a type of physiotherapist called a pelvic health physio. So just as it sounds, a pelvic health physio is someone who has specialized training in knowing how to uh, look after the muscles of the pelvic floor. So when you first go to see a pelvic health physio, you might be going because you're experiencing symptoms of incontinence. So losing urinary control, uh, you might be farting when you don't mean to, or you might find that you're actually soiling your underwear when you don't mean to. So they are the three main symptoms of pelvic floor dysfunction. You might also be experiencing some diastasis recti, which is the separation of the abdominal muscles, usually experienced postnatally. But you might also just be experiencing some lower back pain or some other associated dis, uh, discomfort or pain or symptoms that is usually related to the pelvic floor and the core canister. So when you first go to a pelvic floor physio, your first appointment will just be a sit down, a discussion of your symptoms, a discussion of your health history. If you are postnatal, they'll go into that. They'll talk about uh, what your pregnancy was like, what your birth was like, um, have you had multiple births and look at all of that history as well then yes, there will be some examination. Now a pelvic health physio is qualified to do internal pelvic floor examinations, which is just like getting a pap smear. So the, the physio will be, be able to assess the strength and the function um, and the brain body connection with those muscles. They'll also do some external examinations as well to see how well the pelvic floor muscles are functioning. And then also to, if diastasis recti is an issue for you, they'll do some external examination of all of that. Then your pelvic health physio will give you a follow-up treatment plan. Now that might involve some exercises, some specific pelvic floor exercises for you to do um, and some other treatment ideas for you as well. Because not everybody knows how to engage their pelvic floor correctly and some people will engage uh, completely incorrectly by actually pushing out on the muscles instead of drawing up and back with those muscles. So a pelvic health physio can definitely help you with those. You would of course rehab your knee if you had knee surgery. You would rehab your back if you had back surgery. And just like I did when I tore my calf muscle, you rehab those muscles back to full function. So it should be par for course that women do get to experience rehab of their pelvic floor muscles postnatally. Currently, that is not actually a thing in Australia and you do need to seek out your own treatment for that. But if that is something that you feel like you would need help with, uh, there are quite a few great physios who I can recommend for you to go to. And um, as some of our TPPT clients will know, it is something that I do fairly often. And I do follow up with those physios to see where your exercise program needs to sit for you and what modifications or contraindications we need to cater for within your exercise program. So please, please, please do not think that experiencing incontinence or any pelvic floor dysfunction is normal. While it's common, one in three women will, ex one in three postnatal women will experience those, that dysfunction. 
it's really not normal and help is available and I would like to assist you in getting that help if that's something you feel like you would need. All right, thank you so much for joining me again today, team. Have a really great day and I'll see you tomorrow for another little chat. All right, bye.